happy weekend. Just did a little ab routine. Blogilates, 100 butt ups. Kind of want to go to like Home Goods or Marshalls or even maybe Dollar Tree and look for some containers to store my little skincare headbands in. This one came in a PR package. It's from Kitsch. I really like it. This brand M61 sent it to me. Actually, I should try the ponytail feature. I've never tried that before. Okay, I don't need to use that though. I like it because it Velcros. One of my hardest decisions each morning before coffee is in my system <laughs> is what sunscreen to wear. I'm lucky, fortunate, I have a ton to choose from. That is, that's a blessing because sunscreen is a health product, you know? People think of it as a skincare product, but it's necessary for keeping your skin healthy. And it can be really expensive, cost prohibitive. So I'm very grateful that I'm so fortunate to have easy access to so many sunscreens. This one is a great one if you live in a humid climate, the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk. It's not greasy. I slept really well last night. I've been using this Lancome Idol mascara. I like it. Speaking of sleeping well, a few times I've gotten a question, what mattress do I recommend? I am no mattress expert, but I sleep on a Sealy mattress. And I've been told they're good quality. So there's that. But that Sleep and Glow pillow has been a game changer for my sleep quality. I consistently get, since sleeping on that pillow, getting that pillow, I have gotten at least 45 minutes of additional good quality sleep each night because of that pillow, because of the way it supports my neck. That was always a thing. I would like struggle to get comfortable that thing, it just puts me to sleep. I actually have two sleeping globe pillows. I have the original, and then I have the newer one that's intended to help you train to, train yourself to sleep on your back. It has the bolsters on the side, and I alternate them out just, you know, kind of randomly, and they both help me get really good sleep. They're both really supportive. The one that trains you to sleep on your back has these, like, little neck. This isn't sponsored, although I do work with them, but um, has these little neck massage kind of, fingers too. It's really comfortable. Yeah, this chameleon coffee, I've been getting it because it's been on Ibotta. You get like a dollar fifty rebate back with it. You know me and Ibotta. I'm always like getting stuff just because it's an Ibotta deal. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to have lunch at a Persian restaurant and then I'm going to go to this frozen yogurt ice cream place called Bay, B-A-E. They have a lot of vegan options and it looks really cool. So I'm excited to try that. I found a shower cap, finally. Uh, Cantu to the rescue. Cantu has some of the best hair accessories in my opinion. Speaking of hair, I have been getting questions, do I still use my Eye Restore hair regrowth laser? I At do. The next light, turn right. I do still use my Eye Restore hair regrowth laser. Um, it helps just stimulate circulation in the scalp and that helps reduce DHT levels. It also helps bring in growth factors. I just filmed a video for you guys on the uh, adverse dermatologic effects of dietary supplements and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you missed it, maybe I'll put it as a card here somewhere as an eye in the sky. You know, I only mentioned the supplements, the adverse health effects of supplements that were related to skin, hair, and nails. I mentioned fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. You know, they're stored in the body. It's 
easier to get to high toxic levels. Vitamin E can actually inhibit uh, platelet aggregation and make you more prone to bleeding. And there was a study, although again, association does not prove causation, but there was a study that showed that amongst people who smoke, there was a greater risk of lung cancer in smokers who took vitamin E supplements compared to those who did not. And there's always been this thought that while antioxidants are good, they help reduce oxidative stress, we have our own antioxidant system, it gets depleted, and exogenous antioxidants can help replenish that, reduce oxidative stress, at least DNA damage, and all these bad things. And that study, suggested that perhaps you can have too much of a good thing. And I have often wondered that when it comes to vitamin C serums because vitamin C is a, the L-ascorbic acid serum in particular. L-ascorbic acid is an antioxidant and it's vital for collagen synthesis. I mean it's critical, has many critical roles in the skin. But I have noticed that many people get almost within a matter of days after using vitamin C serums, get these acne breakouts on the face, the neck, stop the vitamin C serums, go away. I've often wondered, is vitamin C serum the right choice for everybody? And without any data on who's gonna benefit from it and who's not, people just use it. But I always question like, is there the potential that we are doing more harm than good with the vitamin C serums in some people. Because there was a study that showed that in people who have normal plasma levels of vitamin in C, in 1.3 miles, normal plasma levels of vitamin C, that applying it topically did nothing to change the levels in the skin. Um, and I always wonder, like, if you have normal levels of vitamin C, applying it exogenously. Are you putting it past a tipping point where it's actually causing more harm than good? Um, comment below. I know I've gotten a lot of comments here on YouTube from people who try vitamin C serums and say they break them out on the neck, the face, for sure. Gosh, it is a lovely day. I'm over here by Rice University. They have all these beautiful oak trees dotting the sides of the road, providing us this nice shade and ambiance. There's not a lot of traffic. It's wonderful. You guys having a good September? I swear, wasn't it just yesterday somebody was commenting that the year was already halfway over and now it's like more than halfway over. And before you know it, it'll be Christmas. Somebody was talking about plans for Thanksgiving the other day. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, is it already? At the next light, turn left. Is it already that time where we're thinking about Thanksgiving? And those of you in Canada, you're definitely going to be thinking about Thanksgiving because yours comes up in October.
am finally back. I've actually been back a while. I was doing some work on the computer and it's already late at night. Today was a hot one, but my goodness, that food was really good. The Persian restaurant, I had, I'll put the name of the dish here because I'm blanking on it. It started with, it was G-O-R-M-E-H, a stew of like different greens, fenugreek. It had kidney beans, a bunch of spices, and then the rice that went with it or that I got with it was like a basmati rice with cherries in it. Oh, so good. And then bay, whoo, bay exceeded expectations. I was kind of thinking it might be more in the family of sorbet, but the flavor I got did not disappoint. It was like a vanilla and it wasn't sorbet-esque at all. It was creamy and very good. Highly recommend it for vegan ice cream. They had non-vegan flavors too. And they had a bunch of different flavors of cones too. I just got a plain one, but they had like a matcha cone. And you could also get your cone dipped in matcha powder. I thought that might be kind of bitter. I don't know, comment below on if you've ever had um, ice cream dipped in matcha. I imagine it would be better than you would think because even though matcha is bitter, it'd almost be like a sweet matcha latte to mix it with the ice cream flavor. I don't know. So yeah, that was really good. And oh, it's a scorcher out. Anyways, speaking of heat, I one thing I wanted to share with you guys, those of you who suffer, suffer, suffer with hyperpigmentation, if you are sitting by a window, the heat, that radiant heat, actually can worsen the hyperpigmentation issue, especially if you're dealing with melasma, because there's actually a vascular component, and by that I mean little blood vessels that are leaky, lead to more inflammation, and that can actually worsen the hyperpigmentation, that heat. So not only is it the UVA beating down in through the window glass, but also the heat. That plus irritating skincare products. Yeah, it's kind of a recipe for, for aggravating the melasma. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys something a friend of mine gave me as a little gift, a little treat. What's this brand? Gopal's Ramajan. This is made out of walnuts, sunflower seeds, nutritional yeast. It's really good. If you ever get a chance to try it, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not vegan, it's delicious. Just as you would use that, that Parmesan cheese that comes in the green can or normal Parmesan cheese. It's also, this is really good on vegetables too. Check out the little mini arrow garden. Doing well over here. I got my two kinds of basil and my parsley. And it's been, it's been produced. So this is the shower cap I got. It looks like a good one because it's good and thick and it's got a nice soft lining on the inside. Cantu, I'm telling you. They do not disappoint with their hair accessories. Everybody always thinks of them for their shampoos, conditioners, and hair care products, but their styling like adornments, <laughs> if you will. I really enjoy oil cleansing. I know you're not. Oh system off there. I really enjoy using an oil cleanser. I just find it so relaxing. Either an oil cleanser or a cleansing balm, just massaging it over the face. It is the most relaxing thing. I went to the dentist earlier this week and got my teeth cleaned. I go twice a year, as you should, but I always choose the bubblegum flavor of, is it toothpaste that they use? Whatever they use to clean your teeth. What is the proper terminology for that? Cleansing paste? I always choose the bubblegum for two reasons. First of all, the mint, it, for some people, the mint flavor is really irritating around the mouth and it causes little breakouts. And for some people that can cause perioral dermatitis. Now I've never had that problem, but I do find the mint to kind of lead to more lip irritation. Maybe that's all in my head. The main reason I don't choose the, the mint flavor is because Shortly after getting my teeth cleaned, I of course have my coffee and the mint lingers a lot longer, whereas the bubble gum dissipates and doesn't ruin my coffee. I don't drink my coffee before I go in because I don't want to blast some of the coffee breath. <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to tell you guys is I just finished my Dr. Tung's T-U-N-G dental floss and I cracked into my cocoa floss. This is a luxury flossing experience right here. You only live once and you only get one set of chompers, you gotta take good care of them. These are really good. And they do, this does in fact last 60 days of dental floss. So I have that. You know they put that leave-on fluoride treatment on your teeth? This time, they got a melon flavor and it tasted a little bit too good. I mean, I was enjoying that melon. It was a good melon, you were like, 
don't mind if I do. It was tasty. So if you have the option, next time you go to the dentist, if they offer you melon fluoride treatment, get it. I highly recommend it. It was an enjoyable experience. I don't know about you guys, but the dentist office lately in the past, I don't know, five or six years, I don't know if they have some sort of pressure to, you know, be more accommodating, but they've gotten, is it just me? Or have they gotten, dentist office gotten really like, bougie they have like the tv that they put over some dentist's office they go all out and they like offer you a menu of like massage treatments i've heard they are so efficient and i always get the first appointment they just schedule six months in advance so they'll, they'll allow me to schedule right then and there and i have it in my calendar i just love that about my dentist that i can get my appointment six months you know the day the day i have my appointment i can get my next appointment scheduled and I just find that that stresses me out less as opposed to if it's left up to me and I know around the time then I'll just put it off or be like oh well two more days whatever and before you know it I haven't gotten my teeth cleaned anyways I'm gonna hop in the shower because I'm sweaty it was super hot today um but I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow Bye.